All right, guys, Jay Proud of Performance here. I just want to show you something that I think is pretty cool. And I was going to show you how to use this port. So this is C6. And if you look here, there's a pressure tap on the servo housing here. Most of these don't have it, but some of them do. And some of you may not know what that is and what to do with that. That is in the release side of the servo. So you should have oil there in reverse and third gear only. Uh, nice, nice little place to check it because, you know, one of the things we talk about with these Ford transmissions a lot is failure of high gear, you know, direct clutch fails. And there's a lot of theories and, you know, a lot of ways to fix it and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, this is a hydraulic, you know, this is hydraulic circuitry here. And, you know, I know everybody likes to talk about clutch plates and how many clutch plates and, you know, what kind of clutch plates and all that. But most of your major problems come down to hydraulics. So let me show you how to use this. Uh, now that you know what it's for, uh, let's see this in action. And I've already run this, so I know I don't actually have a uh, leak in it. Uh, so let me let me get you set up so you can see the gauges on the dyno and uh, We'll give this a quick blast and uh, we'll we'll show you that hang on one second All right, here we are So let me just tweak that a little bit all right, so here's what we got here main pressure and This is the gauge that's in that release side of the servo all right now you may note if you can see it well enough you're gonna notice I'm gonna be getting a little bit less pressure in the release side than in the main um, so it's not necessarily that there's a leak in the circuit what I've got going on here is I don't know if you can see but this needle is not quite on the peg anymore uh, this got overpressured uh, not that long ago, actually. And this one here, I had, you know, had been a victim of that in the past, and I had sent it to be fixed, but it's always red low. The calibration is not right. Um, but it's pretty close. I mean, it's, you know, good enough for what we're doing here. I don't need to split hairs on this. But so anyways, here's what's going to happen. I'm just going to run this a little bit. And I just want you to see, um, and I'll call it out. Hopefully you'll hear me. I'll call that out when that should be on. And also we're going to try to see, you know, if we start getting a little bit of pressure in other gears. Because again, we should only have pressure in here in reverse and third. If we start seeing a little bit of pressure in there, see this happens in hydraulic circuits a lot. And a lot of times you may not know what's going on. Uh, that's why I enjoy having this diagnostic port because I can rule out an issue like that uh, Say if you especially if you have a unit where you're having a repeated high gear failure So, you know, you might see whatever 10 20 pounds in there just a small amount of oil in there when you're not supposed to get oil in there um, Or you know the other thing too. You may have a leak in the circuit. You won't necessarily see it on the on the main you know, main might show just fine. So let's just say main is at 200, for example. You know, this could only be at 100. And, you know, you're still getting third. You're still getting reverse. But it's just not lasting like it should. Um, and you won't necessarily know that when you're just in the main pressure tap. So, all right, let's give this a quick run. I'm not going to make a big deal out of this. But we'll just give this a quick run so you can see it. And this, just so you know, this is a um, this is a reverse pattern full manual valve body that's in this transmission. Uh, so here we go. We're in neutral. I'm going to go into reverse, and you can see this comes on. Okay. 
And like I said, it does read a little bit lower, but that's because my gauges. It doesn't mean we have a leak. Neutral. Now we're in first. And I'll give it a lot again. And when you see it, there's no pressure in here, which is good. Second. No pressure still. Second, back down to first, and neutral. Okay, well, that's about it. I just wanted to, I just wanted you to see that in action, and if you ever see that pressure tap on your C6. Uh, and if you're having high gear problems with it, uh, feel free to put a pressure gauge in there and, and do this little check. You know, make sure, you know, only pressure in here in reverse and third. Never, never pressure in any other gear. Uh, even, you know, park or neutral, whatever. Uh, we didn't do park just now, but I'm not worried about that. I guess I can check that, but... Uh, we're fine here. This unit's working well and all that kind of thing and we've got a lot of pressure and good flow and uh, This is for a you know high power application, you know big cubic inch motor making a lot of power uh, so anyways guys um, I think that's all I got to show you on that and That's kind of how to use that port if you do have it and I do encourage you to use it These things uh, can come in handy all right, thanks for watching.